Hey, you geeks. To be philosophically rigorous, one must ask oneself the difficult questions. Is Prince Zuko overrated? Hmm. No. Thank you for watching. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll go into more detail. Zuko is the best, and here's why. Stand through the pain. Zuko, like most of Avatar's young fans, dealt with the pain of childhood's end and the brutality of the real world. He was relatable. His childhood wasn't idyllic, but he cherished it. Although his childhood's end was a bit more traumatic than the average viewer's, You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. He carried on after failure. That kid, uncle just did this. I won't underestimate him again. Failure. Trust me, Zuko. It's not going to be much of a match. And more failure. Zuko never gave up. I don't need luck, though. I don't want it. I've always had to struggle and fight, and that's made me strong. It's made me who I am. Zuko's endurance through pain and anger inspired me to keep standing. Back in my day, we didn't have Inside Out to tell us it was okay to be sad. It's up to you. Me? Sadness? Sadness? We had Zuko, Linkin Park, and Eyeshadow. Lots of eyeshadow. Tempted by nostalgia. While on this bridge of pain between childhood and maturity, Zuko faced the choice that all young people must face. Live in the past or move forward. When we meet him, he only ever wanted for things to go back to the way they were. Once I deliver the Avatar to my father, he will welcome me home with honor and restore my rightful place on the throne. This hope is both clearly misguided and yet highly relatable. The idea that everything would be better if things just went back to the way they were is not just the hope of children. All the good core memories were made in Minnesota. Ergo, we go back to Minnesota and make more. Ta -da! But also one of humanity's biggest catchphrases going back to Hesiod from around 700 BC. Apparently, life has been unpleasant for all of history. Who'd have thunk it? Throughout his journey, Zuko learns and shows the viewers that living in the past is not a viable option. During the meeting, I was the perfect prince. The son my father wanted. But I wasn't me. He learns that the only way forward is to redeem himself and make the world a new, better place, rather than grasp for the perfection that never was. Seeking Redemption Zuko's Redemption, the arc that launched the Thousand Vids. In Monday's video, I explained my Tolkienian standards for a good redemption arc. To sum up, all characters need redemption. They seek it by rejecting their temptations and making restitution to show for it. Zuko embodies this perfectly, even though he has more page time to work it out than the average Tolkien character. Zuko begins his story fallen. He bears the guilt of his nation and his own rage, but he constantly struggles against these burdens and follows a moral code of sorts. You're not soldiers, you're bullies. Freeloaders abusing your power, mostly over women and kids. Although full of regret, he can't bring himself to reject temptation. He can't decide what is right and wrong. Is it your own destiny, or is it a destiny someone else has tried to force on you? This is where most people live, and it's what makes Zuko so gosh darn relatable. But just when it finally looks like Zuko has begun to reject evil for goodness sake, he goes and fails on an entirely new and spectacular level. <gasps> Breaking both mine and Katara's hearts. I'm sure if he had chosen the right thing here, she would have eventually chosen him over Aang. <sighs> Back to redemption. 
Zuko regrets this decision almost immediately. I have everything I always wanted, but it's not at all how I thought it would be. First, he tries to fix it by digging himself into deeper trouble. The Avatar is alive. I want you to find him and end him. But he eventually rejects the allure of power to which he and his forefathers had fallen. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatness with the rest of the world. What an amazing lie that was. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help him defeat you. Zuko goes beyond making this epic declaration and apologizes to the gang for his past failures. But I know now that no one can give you your honor. It's something you earn for yourself by choosing to do what's right. He then makes restitution to Aang, to Sokka, Katara, and the world. I promised my uncle that I would restore the honor of the Fire Nation. And I will. Of course, his journey is not over when the show ends, but we leave him ready, willing, and probably able to choose the right thing. What more could you want from a character? Nothing. Zuko is the best. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see more. Your patronage is greatly appreciated.